All right, Brian in Florida, thanks for your order here. Um, got your 497 here HPC for you. Real nice, pretty looking radio, kind of a, a beast. So uh, you got the one I was gonna keep. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I got some more, more of these coming, but I am definitely keeping one. So um, one of them's got my name on it. I think the radio just kind of talked me into it. I, I still like AM a lot. I know I don't, maybe I don't come off like I do, but I still do. There's a lot of aspects I really enjoy of just generally talking on AM. It's just a lot of fun. So um, it's very popular in much of the U.S., way more popular than SSB. So when the skip is gone, a lot of guys that are heavy into SSB only, they probably also do amateur radio and they might find their way back to that more often than none. But a lot of guys will never miss a beat that are just AM guys because they're always talking on AM. So there's a lot to be said about AM. It's still an enjoyable mode. There's uh, enjoyment in all modes, really, if you're into radio. You know, you should like them all. And I kind of like them all, although I prefer SSB just because the power's more... Uh, I think it's used a little more appropriately for long distance than AM, but to each his own on that. So anyways, we got your radio all here ready to go, Brian. Um, it's about 50 hertz low on frequency. Um, it does take a little time for this to cool and stuff, so I'll address that later. I'll get it as close as I can, but just be aware the radio will not be as stable as like your some of your radios. I think you got one of these for me also and stuff like that. It's never going to be as stable as like this kind of radio, but you know, it's a different design. So as long as you're not a couple hundred hertz off frequency on AM or FM, it, it's not a huge deal. And I don't like to say that, but it, it is the honest to God truth, you know. Um, if they ever start incorporating stuff into these kind of radios where they make them super stable, then I'm all for it. But until then, we just have what we have here. And I still like it. And that's why I say I would keep one for myself. So let's go over to FM first. And RF power is all the way up. I'm going to kill this talk back. Um, the radio is very hot right now. I just got done testing it. But we're at 100, 104. And you're right there at about 100 on the display. So, you know, if we lower it down all the way. It's gonna be sorry about the camera it's like two point something and it's very low so I got it as proportioned as I can um, again I don't recommend running it at a hundred on FM for long extended periods of time but um, it, it, it will work 28 watts on uh, carrier on AM let's put some modulation into this mic so that we can see what the radio's doing on peak and there's a hundred and nine right there rather easily a one two three four five check one two check one two it's real clean so get your SWR on the display so that's cool um, I'll take it to the low power side it's about three two point nine five three I noticed the SWR protection or SWR detection is a little inaccurate down at this level so don't be surprised if that happens um, you can see it hasn't changed on my LP 100 because it has a much lower detection threshold for RF I think this one needs more RF let's see if we turn it up yeah as you turn it up it gets a little more leveled out that's about eight watts right there so let's just check it at eight watts so at eight watts right now one two three four five check check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's a little less power on the peak maybe a little less uh, on the top end but still overall it's doing pretty good so that's at like eight watts and that is uh with the radio um where's the display one two three four at the four dot mark so one below 12 o'clock so if we turn it all the way down um, we're going to expect to see quite a bit less power here so three watts or so one two three one two three check check one two one two it's not going to be this like ginormous powerhouse from low dead key you're not going to do two watts and swing 107 that would just be ridiculous but we're doing like 
at least six times the carrier right now, which is pretty darn good for, for how low of deck heat we have. So, you know, that's how it should be. Um, it's a high power radio. If you want the higher power, then you just got to turn the dial up. Um, there's one one notch past 12 o'clock. We'll see what that does. Um, about 14. So at 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's your top end. So this actually will probably will give you a little deeper modulation right here and still give you the full potential of the radio. So kind of some cool things to know there. Roger beeps and all that stuff work. The echo works. Um, I kind of already have it set. But uh, I don't really want to squeal too much, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's too much. Let me see. One, two, one, two, three, four. Check, check. I kind of like that right there, and I don't know if the camera picks that up too well. But uh, I can show you the setting here. The inner dial is at the just over the second dot, and then the outer dial is at one, two, three, four, right at about the fourth dot. I think that sounds pretty good. It's kind of like a little bit of a reverb echo effect. If you like echo, that's up to you. But it's there and it does work. Um, Roger beeps work. There's the single beep. You really can't hear them, but beep, beep. So two beeps on there. NBNL, all that stuff. 10K. 10K works. As we're heating up, we're drifting a little bit more. But again, that's common with these radios so it's nothing to be overly concerned with again it's it's what it is I wish I could say it wasn't but it is the case heat does change the the temperament of the crystal um, let me just show you the waveform really quick and then I will test the receiver because there's not much going on on the airwaves today all right this is our 14 or so watt carrier where I left it and Here's our spectrum analyzer, so we're at about 41.8, uh, 41.7 dBm, and my meter shows dBm also, so it's relatively close. The noise floor, the 0 dBm line is here, so if we modulate this radio now with the 1 kilohertz test tone, you can see how clean it is. I mean, it's really nice. Um, this is essentially the next channel here and here, so that's awesome. Uh, you want it to be clean and still have a lot of uh, forward power, which it does. If I turn it up all the way, um, we need to actually get a little bit more reference out of here if we can. Yeah, actually we'll go 46. Yep, yeah, okay, so this is up all the way now. 44.4 uh, and 44.4, so we're looking good. This is at the uh, 20... 28, 29 watt carrier, so this is full power here. You can see my uh, dummy load, how that's sitting, it's really good. So, the bird, bird dummy load does a really good job keeping the impedance right where it should and everything. So here's the modulated signal there, so still it's really clean. Um, and that's awesome. This is zero dBm, if you do your watts to dBm conversion, you'll realize that as we get into the adjacents over here, we're in negative numbers. So that's, that's really good. Um, and I feel like the last time I saw these, maybe they weren't as clean. I don't remember, but I have a feeling they weren't, just for whatever reason. So now we're, obviously we drifted a little bit more. So again, it's just par for the course, um, unfortunately, but I still like the radio. It doesn't take anything away from it. So there's the waveform. Um, Obviously, we're not pinching and we're not pushing that full, real deep modulated signal. This is a higher power radio. We want to keep it as clean as we can without distortion. And that's what we have right there. So I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. And we're doing good power. So that's the way to contain the power is keep it clean. All right, so we're looking at our receiver. RF gains all the way up. And... Do we have an RF? Yeah, we do. I was going to say, do we have an RF gain? Yeah, definitely we do. So, it took me a second to realize what I was looking at. And there's 12 dB. This is AM. And there's about 90, so that's 110.7. So that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, there's some receivers out there on some radios that are a little bit better, but, I mean, we can't be too picky here. 
obviously we're going to hear everybody with with this radio and a lot of that's depending on what antenna you use anyway so the better the antenna the higher above ground all that good stuff the more signal you get but um all in all it's a really nice radio so um no complaints by me whatsoever i can deal with a little bit of frequency drift because we're only talking am and fm so but I will try to get it for you as best as I can, just like I did for the last customer. And uh, we'll get this heading, heading your way. Again, you got all the color options that you might want and stuff. And if you key the mic while you do the color options, I'm not going to do it because I'm going into my uh, signal generator and I would blow the front end of it completely out. Um, you can change this light here. So I have a preference for this color. Um, I like that one too. They all look different on camera probably, but that's a good color. That's like the classic color. That's a good color. And that's not a color for me. Or that one. This one's more of like a white color, although it looks pink on the camera. This one's the one I like though. It's like a real nice white color. So that one looks really good. Um, I don't think there's a way to dim the lighting though. I wish they had an option to, to dim it. But I don't see anything here, so uh, hopefully they last a long time with the lighting and stuff. I haven't heard of too many guys having problems with them, and this radio's been out for quite some time. All right, Brian, thanks a lot. We'll get this heading your way. And again, I'll, I'll let this cool off for a little bit, and I'll adjust the frequency. But again, as it heats up, it's still going to drift a little bit. So either do it when it's cool or do it when it's hot. And probably I'll do it right now, considering it is what it is. You, I imagine you buy the radio to talk on it, not just sit and listen. So... You'd want it to be a little more in frequency when it's heated up. So thanks a lot, and uh, 73.